Blessings to everybody in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. And brothers and sisters, on this journey, growing in the Lord and walking with the Lord, and something that we will be judged by, and something that is revealed what's inside of the person, is the love of truth. The pure, unadulterated, true, pure love of the truth. And how that is seen in your life, meaning that if, if there's a testimony and an evidence, because you can say, oh, yeah, I love the truth. But you see, you guys, the, the, your, your, your thoughts, your words, and your actions all have to be in line with each other in order for it to be a valid uh, testimony, a valid witness, right? And so, um, you know, uh, when we, so as we are growing in the Lord, you guys, there are things that are going to, that it, it says in the scriptures, you guys, that we have to walk humbly with the Lord, right? We have to walk humbly. And if there are things inside of a person, right, because what we are talking about is going back, and this is in prophecy, this is what the Lord desires each of us to do, going back to the old ways and, and, and um, living with Christ inside of us, meaning that everything we do is based out of motives of love. And when you love the truth, you guys, you see, we're dealing with people, you guys, who are very passionate about what they do and what they believe and, and even willing to die um, for what they believe. And so, um, but there's going to be on this journey, there's going to be a lot of things that you really truly believe in your heart um, that are true and, and you're almost certain of it. But you guys... The, the truth is going to be the truth. And the Lord, he is a good father and he is a good Lord. And he will reveal the truth to us as we're on this journey. That's part of our journey, you know, is that we grow in the truth and that we don't do things that are not true, right? It says um, in the scriptures um, in John 1, chapter 2, 4, it says, um, if anyone says, I know him, but does not keep his commandments, he is a liar and the truth is not in him. Now, I, I wasn't bringing this up for the commandment part that we could do another video on that in itself, but it says the truth is not in him. So it's you guys in this journey with the Lord, the truth, we need to be seeking the truth and be guided in the truth in all things. And John uh, chapter 16, verse 13, it says, but when the spirit of truth comes, right? And you guys, you want, you, um, we are all part of this thing, this journey and this walk together in this, um, where the kingdom of Christ is growing in us, where, um, the spirit of truth wants to dwell in you, but you have to love the truth. And that means if you, believed something or had a preconceived notion of something or whatever um you guys sometimes that means it doesn't mean just because you believed it was true or you believe in it it doesn't mean that it is true and in order to walk humbly with the lord you guys you have to be willing to admit these things and seek the truth even if it's something you believe take it to the lord you guys if there is something in you that is not right, or if there is something that you have said that is not right, or it's wrong, you guys, just confess, confess it and repent of it and turn away from it. And know, you guys, that everything that you're, you guys, with us, especially with the children of God, everything that you are doing, everything that you are saying, the words that you're saying are being recorded and written down. And when, if, think about how silly it's going to seem, you guys, if we say, oh, that this is from the Lord, and, and this is what the Lord desires, and, and, and think about it, not, what if it is not true? 
and then you are actually part of that. Now you are tied to this state. And this is why we need to confess and repent and ask the Lord to guide us in these situations. When you really believe something is right and something is true, what if it's not? And, and then you end up uh, being associated and attached with this falsehood, right? And this is all in the journey that we're on, you guys. So we need to be taking these things to the Lord and asking the Lord, Lord, show me if this is true. Guide me. And even think about these stuff, you guys, before you say it. And the Lord requires us, you guys, in order to walk with him, we have to walk humbly with him. All right. Meaning we have to look. You, you We can't be so pri we can't be prideful you guys meaning you know even if you say something and or you believe it and it's not correct you know if 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 you aren't willing to confess and repent or or admit these things that means that see what that reveals inside of the heart is that you hold your desires and your thoughts above the truth of God. And you don't want to be guilty of that, you guys. We want to help and we want to help one another grow, you guys. Each of us, each of us should be helping one another growing in Christ so that we can all grow together as a family. And that is an attribute of a true child of God is um, be willing to walk humbly and, and look at these things. And, and if you've said something or believed something and it's not true, you should desire the truth above it. And we should be seeking the truth um, together in all of these situations and circumstances. Even if that means that you have to um, be wrong about something, right? You don't want to exalt what you believe in your truth and your thoughts above the truth of God. Because you guys, if you do that, that means during the tribulation, the Lord is going to um, purge those things of you. But do these things now, you guys. You guys believe me and trust me in this. You want to deal with this now. Get on that narrow road now before you have to um, be purged of these things in the tribulation. And there's going to be people who are believers who are not even going to consider or think about these things. And you guys, that is going to cost them their lives in the tribulation. There's not very many people that are left and you want to, you want to be abiding within the covenant, you guys. Okay. The covenant is okay. The um, covenant of the Lord, those who are in Christ, you guys, what, what they are doing, what is growing inside of them and what is, what, what is going on inside of them is that they do things, their actions, their words come from a place of love in their heart. That's what the Lord was saying. Love the Lord, your God with all your heart and love your love others. That uh, if you do, if you fulfill those two things, then everything else will be fulfilled because somebody who truly loves the Lord with all their heart, mind and strength, right? They're going to spend time with him. They're going to seek him with all their heart, mind and strength. They're not going to do things that they know are going to distance themselves from the Lord. So, um, you know, uh, may the Lord bless us and guide us. I love you guys all and God bless you. And I'll see you on the next one. Lord willing.